at six foot three, two hundred sixty pounds. Connor Odicio is a natural on the football field, and while he looks a bit out of place on a piano bench, this is how he sounds. For a lineman doing it, it's extremely, you know, it's it doesn't look right. He's not supposed to do that. He's probably going to be a professional if he wants to do it. I mean, that's how good he is at uh, playing the piano. Odicio's first love is sports, but he found a counterbalance to that when he was eight. I asked my dad to play piano, and uh, from there just spurted into a love of both. Odicio was able to play Jingle Bells after his first lesson, and now he can play just about anything. He doesn't need sheet music for most songs. I play from ear, and I... Um, and I memorize all my songs. I had perfect pitch in my hearing, but then I got kicked in the side of the head in a pool and uh, ruptured my right eardrum. Odicio also broke his thumb playing football in high school. My teacher was gonna kill me, because I, I can reach an octave and a half with my left hand, but I can only reach an octave and four notes with my right. As a red shirt, Odicio isn't eligible to play this season and serves as a practice player for the Mustangs. School and football occupy most of his time, but he's still able to make it into the campus piano room twice a week. If he chose to focus more on his music, he might be able to make a living out of it. My teacher said I had the potential, and if I really wanted to, I could push myself to the next level, maybe going to conservatory music. but. When she said that, I mean, I, w I couldn't play sports because of my hands, if they got injured, <laughs> I couldn't play sports, and that's just not an option. For now, Odicio plans on keeping sports and music as hobbies and becoming a history teacher. I just like expressing myself through other ways. I don't know, <laughs> football guys are gonna give me so much stuff for that. 